Now, let me show you once again. Okay, this is the card. And super, super easy. Like I said, I've been making these for many years, but, you know, I've always done them by hand, cut everything out by hand, and it, and it really is a pain. I love this. This is the inside. And then as you can see, I hope you guys can see, you have these different windows. So it gives your card all of this dimension. And then what I did up here was I added a couple butterflies so it looks like they're flying in the background. Isn't that adorable? Absolutely love this. So let me show you how we are going to do this. All right. So first of all, like I said, you're going to need this stamp set, or you can use any stamp set, but hopefully you'll run over to Stamp Pendis and get one from them because it's so cool. Absolutely love it. And then this die cut set. Okay. Now the die set, it comes with five different dies. Okay. Now I did not use all of them on this card. But I'll show you what I did use. Okay, for this card, I used this. This is your base. And then I used this as a frame. Let me pull all these off of here. There's five total in here. Okay, then I used this for a frame. And then I used this for my opening. Okay. And they also have these other two right here. These are flowers. So what you can do is in your, if you don't want to, you know, uh, if you want to create flowers with the die, you can do it like that instead of stamping them. And then this is a circle die, which also has some leafing and stuff on it. So you can create a tree or a little leaf, you know, little leaves or whatever. So I didn't use those two, but. They're in there also, so it's a really, really good set. Okay, so let me set this aside for right now and get that out of the way. And then let me show you. Okay, I went ahead and, you know, I didn't, I went ahead and die cutted everything ahead of time because I didn't want you guys to be bored out of your mind watching me die cut. Okay, so before we get started, let me finish showing you the rest of what you need. Okay, you're going to need two different types of pattern papers, okay? You're also going to need some white cardstock to stamp your images on, and also your front, okay? So you're gonna need the white cardstock for that. You're going to need a black stamp pad. There we go. You're also going to need some source of color whatever you want to color with. Um, I used my chalk pencils, one of my very favorite way to color, is my chalk pencils, those. And then of course you're gonna need some adhesive. Okay, I use the zip dry as always. And I think, oh, and then the last thing I did was I added a little bit of, I added a tag here and a flower and a little bit of ribbon for the tag. Okay, so let me show you how to put this together. Now, when you go to die cut, you're going to cut two of these. This is very simple to use, you guys. It really is. You're going to do, hi, teen. I just saw you popping in. Okay, so when you die cut, this is your base. And you're going to cut out two of these, just like this. Okay, so you're going to lay your paper on there and run it through the die cut, and you're gonna cut out two, okay? That's for your back and also your front. Now, in order to do these circles, because these are your centerpieces, these two, and what you're gonna do with that is you're gonna put this circle in. My advice, guys, when you're cutting, you know, when you're cutting this out on your own, um, you wanna make sure that the circle doesn't slip when you're cutting it, you know, either cut both pieces at once or um, tape it down. So your each time you cut it out, it's going to be exactly the same. So your circle doesn't shift. Okay. So you're going to cut out two of those. You're going to run that through layer paper on it. 
run it through, and then you're good. Okay, so two of those. And then I also said that I used this because I used this for my front piece. So I just ran this through with my white cardstock and I got my front piece, okay? Now, on the die cut, you're gonna see they already have all of your score marks in here for you, so you don't have to do anything. Just fold it. That's how cool it is. Hi, Jean! So, you know, no problems at all. You don't have to mess with scoring it on your own. It's already there, okay? So it's very, very simple to put together. I showed you what pieces you need to cut out. So let's start with the back piece first. Okay, and that is this one. My score lines are already on there. Now, because this is the back piece, and I want this to be my background, and this will be the back of my card, okay? So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my edges in, okay? And like I said, they have the score marks on there already for you. So, no, you know, you're not going to have any issues with having to score anything on your own. Okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to fold this. You're going to start with the back. Okay? The back piece. And you're going to fold this one in first. Okay, this one's going to go, they're going to fold in, and then you're just going to do mountain, valley, mountain, valley, okay, on your scores. So, that's easy enough. Okay. Let me get that last one. There we go. Okay. So it's going to create, once you get these folded, then it's going to create an accordion, okay? And that's, that's what's going to give you the depth in your card. So again, I'm going to fold each side. Okay, this last one is a little bit hard for me just because of my nails. And this is a little tip I'm going to share with you. Um, if you're, you know, on projects like this that already have the score marks on them, you know, when you're using die cuts like this, if you're having trouble getting them folded, lay your ruler down against the fold and then fold it towards the ruler. And then that'll help you get that crease nice and... There we go. Okay. So we're back and forth and back and forth. All right. Okay, so once you get that, then as I said, you're going to create this accordion. Okay, this is your bottom, you know, like I said, your back piece. Okay, so once you have this done, you have your scores folded, then you're going to take, just make sure that you get all of your images stamped up first. Okay, I've already stamped up mine and I went ahead and colored them. So do all of that first and set that aside and then you can start on this. Or you can do it last too, it doesn't matter. Whichever way you want to do it. So what I did with this is I just measured this piece in here. And it happens to be four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So I just cut a piece of white cardstock that will fit there and then went ahead and stamped it and colored it. Okay, now let me put this on here real quick. Okay, get that centered. Okay, there we go. All right, then the next thing that you're going to do, once you get that done, see, there we go. The next thing that you're going to do then is work on your middle pieces. Now what I've done is to make this, you guys know that every time I do um, a card project that, you know, that ha that's not just a simple card, I always create, you know, a sample first just to get me started. 
okay? Just so I can be familiar with the die or familiar with the pattern. So I did that with this one. And I wanted to show you too, because I forgot to tell you at the very beginning, what is cool about this is this will lay flat and you can mail it. Okay, so I wanted to share that with you real quick. Okay, so, all right, to get started on the centers, now you've got all of these folds here, and I didn't want to make those creases all, um, you know, really uh, gunked up with more paper. So what I did, if that makes sense, what I did was I went along the score lines, and there's there's four, and what I did was I just cut the ends off to where I just had the one. Okay. So I just had the circle and then one, one fold. That way, what I'm trying to tell you, that way when you're going and you put this all together, it's easier and it doesn't make this as bulky. It doesn't make this as bulky when you want to fold it and put it all together at the very end, okay? So that was the reason why I did it. For me, it was just easier. Okay, so we're going to cut off this other side. And this is very simple because you're going to do the same thing with both pieces. You're going to cut them both, okay? And like I said, you already have your score mark, so you're going to cut it to this first score mark. You're going to leave one score mark and then cut the rest of them off, and then you can discard those. So then what you're going to do is you're going to build your window. So let me cut these really quick. Just so you can see. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then fold those edges up. There we go. Hi, Lisa. I didn't see you pop in. Yes, it is. It does fold flat, and it is very cool because then you can just stick it in a regular size envelope, an A2 envelope, and mail it. I would suggest, you know, if you're going to mail it, I would suggest doing it with a padded envelope, though, just so the uh, post office doesn't get your stuff all torn apart because, you know, sometimes that happens, so you don't want that. Okay, so once I have the second fold done, there we go. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to begin to put your layers together which is super, super easy. So what I did was I just took this front one and I laid it right in here. And we're going to tape it down. I would, you know, um, for me, I used my glue because I like it better. It holds things better. Um, but because glue takes a while, you know, to dry, that's why I'm using my nifty little tape runner here, okay? But for me, I would prefer glue. Okay, so you're going to lay this in here in one of the folds and just tape it down or glue it down on each side. And then you see how this, you see how you're building your window? You can see that already, right? Okay. So, you go like that. Here we go. There's that one. And then the next one, same thing. I just laid it and glued it in. Okay. And then lastly, I took the front of it and I cut off one whole side. Okay. Let me show you on the front. I cut off one whole side over here because I don't need the score marks because I'm not going to fold it over. This is going to open. Okay. So what I did was I ran it through like I did the back and I cut the ends off, but I left one end on. And then again, so you don't add a whole bunch of bulk to your sides. I again cut off a few of the score lines on this side. Okay, and folded it over. And then, of course, 
I took it and glued it to the front. Okay. Now, before you do that, before you put your top piece on, what you're going to do first is you want to do your uh, other coloring. You'll see here, like in the sample, you'll want to put your center in the center of the front, right there like that. And then you're going to just color two of the smaller stamp, the floral stamps, like I've done here, cut them out. And then of course I put one, you can see in the sample that I put one on each end. So you're gonna do all of that first and then you're going to glue that edge down. And then once you have all of that, then finish decorating it. This was just a tag that I used, okay? And then I just added a little tab of Velcro in this in the front right here, so that will hold it and close it, okay? And then the last thing that I did was I cut out a couple of butterflies here, because there's a couple there's a, a tiny butterfly like this in the stamp set, and I cut it. I cut two, okay, because since it's going to be free floating, I wanted both sides to be covered because I didn't want one side to where you could see where I, you know, attached the fishing line, okay? So stamp out four of these little tiny butterflies and then just add a piece of fishing wire to them and glue them together. And then you're just going to attach them to the inside in here in your window card. Now see how easy that was? Very, very simple. It's a beautiful way to give a window card. I absolutely love it. Oh, hi, Michelle. I didn't know you popped in. It's a beautiful way to give, you know, uh, a card something a little bit different. And it really is easy to use. All you need to do is just, like I said, follow those score marks on there and just valley and mountain fold, and that's going to give you your accordion fold on your ends, okay? So, and that's it. That is how easy it is to create this beautiful window card. Love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. Wasn't that fun? That was so much fun. I absolutely love Stampendous. Yes, Bridget, you're asking me about, is it Bridget? Oh, Big Heart. I'm sorry. I can't see. I have to... Anyways. Okay. Uh, fishing line. Yes, I did use fishing line on those. Okay. On those butterflies. So that, that way they look like they're free floating. Free float. That's hard to say. And then they just kind of shimmer in there like that. Okay. If you have any questions about this, guys, you know just to put it in the comment section. I go over every single comment. I respond to everybody anytime that, you know, I do a project. So, you know, questions, put them in there. Um, also, I know Stampendous on their website, they have also got videos, you know, that you can also look at um, to see if they did it, you know, they do it differently. But it is a very, very simple card to make. Um it's just a lot of fun. Lots of fun. I love it. So, that's it for me today. Don't forget about the contest now, because you guys know it's going to be the die set that I used, and also those stamp set. That's going to be the giveaway. Okay, so some lucky winner is going to be very, very happy with this stuff. Okay, so who else popped in? Oh, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Oh, you love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I always enjoy being here with you and spending this time with you. And I thank you so much for, for taking the time to spend with me. Um, don't forget about the contest, the giveaway. You have until 6 p.m. tomorrow night, my time, Pacific Standard Time. Okay, so don't forget about that. And then I will announce the winner the following morning. Okay who's going to win those awesome prizes from Stamp Pendis. And then don't forget to join me next week because I'm going to have another fabulous project and another fabulous giveaway. And I'm so excited. I can't wait. 
So have an awesome week, everybody. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones, but don't forget to take some time to craft because like I always tell you, it's good for your soul. All right, everybody, you take care. I will see you next week, and thank you for spending time with me. We'll see you later. Bye.